Hi everybody, Dave Hunt here, owner of Game Masters Guild. Today I want to take a look at another new product by WizKids for their Warlock Tiles line, which is their Battle Mats. These things are 2x2 two two and they're only $25 each, subterranean-like and expansive cave. So let's check them out. Okay, so let's take a look at these maps. The first thing is let's take a look at the back of the maps. Now, just like the Dungeons & Dragons maps that I looked in my previous videos, uh, they have a rubber back, and of course it says exactly what it is, WizKids, Warlock Tiles, pretty cool. And let's, uh, what's nice about this is it won't slip on your table, especially if you have like a glass table you're playing on, which I know some people do. So let's flip this bad boy over. So it's a two by two map, which is pretty good size for most of your general role playing needs. Uh, well, at least for most combats. I know a lot of people like a bigger map, but then again, this is just about the right size for most things. Um, I do like that the grid lines are much more visible on the subterranean map. Uh, and even in spots where it looks like the grid lines start to disappear, you can still see enough of the grid to where it kind of doesn't matter. You can still make it out anywhere on the board, and you can pretty much tell what everything is. So all in all, I don't mind this, and at the price point of $25, I think it's a great map. Now, same can't be said for the expansive cave. Of course, it too has the nice rubber back. And let's flip it over. And much like the D&D maps, like the tundra and the grassland and the forest, uh, either I did could notice it on the subterranean lakes one, but on the expansive cave, you can really notice the wrinkles in it, which drive me crazy with these maps. I can't stand it because it takes away from the mat. You're like, oh, those again, yay. And if you look, it's very, very hard to tell the grid lines. I, I don't like this at all. I mean, for $25, you know, it's, I don't think it's a bad map at all, but the grid lines really, really disappear on this map, and the whole thing just looks kind of muddled. I mean, you could tell where it looks really cool, Looks like maybe they had some, maybe a water feature there, or at least it's just a little lighter. Maybe like it's a high point or something. I don't know. But, you know, I can't tell if there's any, I just, it just looks too muddled. It's like the forest map for the, for the Dungeons and Dragons kind of felt rubber back map that I did a review on. It just, it's just kind of bad. I mean, the price is right. It's just the image quality and being able to see the grid lines, it's just poor. So I think WizKids, even though their Warlock tile sets are amazing with these battle mats, quite frankly, right now they're only hitting about 50% for me. Uh, this map's great, this map sucks. Just like with the D&D uh, &D maps, which you need to check out my other video for that, just to kind of see what I thought about those. But uh, so far they're doing 50-50. Now, if they make more mats, I don't know, we'll review them and see what we get, but uh, so far, price point is right, size is right, but again, I just don't like the fact you can't draw on them if you really, really needed to, and um, man, I think that's about it. Okay, so overall, I say it's a 50-50 split on these new mats, because the expansive cave, to me, well, the lines just get lost in the illustration, and like the forest one for the D&D &D mats, uh, it just looks kind of muddled, and I'm not super impressed with it. But then again, with the subterranean lake, the lines for the grid stood out really well. And even though a lot of the colors were similar, and there's a couple spots where the grid lines look like they were starting to disappear, it didn't matter because there's still plenty of enough grid that wasn't washed out by the color to still see. I like the fact that just like the D&D &D mats, that they have the nice rubber back so they're non-slip. So, and of course they're two by two, which is plenty for most gamers anyways, for most encounters, even though a lot of folks like the bigger mats. But what I really like is the price difference. They're more than half the price of these D&D battle mats. And quite frankly, if it's me, man, I'd rather spend 50 bucks and get two of these things for two different train types than 60 and just get one. It kind of depends on what you want. Do you want a larger playing field or do you want different types of maps? For me, well, Variety is the spice of life, especially when it comes to role playing. Doesn't matter if it's Dungeons and Dragons or any other game. Uh, I'd probably end up getting two of these versus one of these. But kind of, again, kind of depends where you're at. Now I don't know if they're planning on putting out more of these game mats. 
because I'm kind of divided right now on the two mats. But if they do, I'm definitely going to review them and see if they get better. But overall, definitely worth the money. Just get the subterranean lake before you get the expansive cave. But uh, overall, I don't think you're going to go wrong. Although expansive cave, not necessarily my first pick. But durability wise, they'll be just fine. And of course, you can't ride on them whatsoever. But no worries. Come on down to Game Masters Guild or your local FLGS and check out these great products. And as always, I'm Dave Hunt, owner of Game Masters Guild, telling you to stay safe, play great games, and we'll see you real soon.